he mentioned some of the guys that we've already spoke, but he's like, you got Kershaw at the top, you got Jansen in the back. Why did you look at Jansen and say, let's try and make him into a reliever here? How did that process go back? One simple thing. He couldn't hit. And if he's watching, he's gonna be he's gonna be agitated with me because I actually said it publicly. He had a great arm and he had a good mind for the position. Cause that that's a tough that's a manager on the field, that position. Sure. And he and he knew it. And well, that's he, why so many catchers have become managers. It. Absolutely. Right. And and he, you know, so he had a he had a feel for it. And we were coming up to a crucial time on his on his clock, so to speak, in that he had to be put on the roster. And I thought if anybody else is watching this guy's arm, they may be thinking the same thing we're thinking. And I would always tell my player development people every spring, we'd have meetings, I'd say, okay, remember, be on the lookout for a young player that we've got here that's kind of maybe hit the wall and isn't going any further in that position. But he may have a carrying tool, tool, tool or two mm-hmm. that can really be a big league thing. This guy's arm was that. How his, how his mind thought was that. And they came to me in like late April, Dijon Watson, and he says, you know, you, you talk about this all the time. What about Kenley as a, as a reliever? I says, let's go. So he talked to Kenley first, and Kenley says, I want no part of it. And I went to Kenley, and Kenley says, I'm a catcher. I'm going to catch in the big leagues. I says, I don't see it. And I says, I got to put you on the mound. I'm going to give you, it's my job to give you as good a chance to get to the big leagues as possible. And that's what I see. And he kind of begrudgingly did it. And we put him on the roster with only 12 innings of, like, A ball pitching under his belt. But we believed in what he was going to do and in the process of doing it. And we had great staff that was going to really kind of fine-tune it. Because it's not just throwing a ball over the plate. It's holding runners on. It's fielding your position. It's understanding that the throw a strike is great, but you have to throw an effective strike. Mm-hmm. And then as time went on, he started to develop the cutter. And the slider was always something he wouldn't do. I had many conversations with him his first year as a reliever where, where we, we debated. I guess debate would be a, a, a kind word to say. We debated what to do and how to do it, you know? <laughs> debated. But, but he's turned out to be the, as good a closer as there is. You look at his numbers and in a shorter window than Mariano Rivera. But if you look at his numbers compared to Mariano Rivera's, and if he's able to sustain that for a long period of time like sure. Rivera did, he's right there. Well, now that he's been paid, has he come up to say uh, thanks? Uh, yeah, he did. He, he did. did this past winter. Yeah, I get that Look once in a while. Look at you. I get that once in a while. I get a text message. Thanks. You know, thanks for being tough on me. You oh, know? That's great. Yeah. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app, and I'll be sure to help the NFL figure out what a catch is.